All right, how we doing, everyone? Niagara County here. We are. It's uh, let's see. Friday afternoon, and this spot here, I worked for a couple years to get into this spot. Now, my map shows that on the other side of this creek there was a house. I believe it was here until the 50s. It's all cornfield now, so I don't know if there's any remnants of it. Now this creek at one time was pretty major. I'm hoping that there was trading going on and they were using this creek. This was either trading post and most definitely was probably a mill. Looks like they've, now I don't know if this is current junk. People come down here and just, yeah, it looks like it's siding. Some jackass came down here and dumped their shit. I was a kid, I had permission to fish in here. And I used to fish off this bridge and down along the banks and we'd nail a little northern pike. Good sized ones and some bass, smallmouth. But this creek at one time was uh, pretty major. Goes right to Lake Ontario. Uh, from here we are probably about 11 to 12 miles from Lake Ontario. And up, you guys have seen me punt up where this creek starts. Uh, up near my house. This isn't too far from where I live. Five, yeah, five, six miles. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can start fishing here again, too. So, I think the home was over here. Looks like something. So it looks like we're going to have to wait till the corn is down, mainly. Which I was hoping they'd have it down. Looks like some rocks over there, but I think the house was over here. Wow, that's a big tree. Yeah, there's some pipe. Yeah, look at that. It's going to take some exploration, guys. This will be fun. Uh, there's a guy that's bow hunting back here. I see his truck in the morning. I come to go here the other morning, and he was here. By the way, guys, got the CTX out. It's been raining and stuff. Haven't used it in a while. I'm going to just check this hill here and see if this was anything. This could have been to the barn or something. Yeah, look at all the rocks. Or it could just be from them clearing out the field, but I doubt it. Yeah, I think once they get this corn down, but the problem is these guys plant quick. This will probably be all winter wheat, so as soon as they cut this corn down, I'm going to have to work fast. And we're supposed to get snow tomorrow, but then warm up again next week, so. All right, guys, I'm going to kick the camera off, look for an area to get started, and then I'll kick the camera back on and just run it the whole time. So, I've only got a short while. i got to get my boy from school, so. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, got the camera on. Do some quick walking around here. I've got a relic program that I made in here. I think it's just a two-tone program. Wide open screen, two-tone audio. Uh, I'm running uh, audio or auto sensitivity plus three. like two items there. Maybe not. A shotgun casing probably. Oh, there's a bunch of glass right there. It's a good sign. Oh, look at that. Uh, doesn't matter where you go, you can't get rid of it. Get away from those things. Ok, 
Okay, that's a 1204. So now we're painting. I like to paint a little picture. Got the target trace on. Go over a few times, see how round it is. Super nice feature that I really like that the E-Track didn't have. That's why I got rid of my E-Track, because I felt I could do everything with this no problem, and then a bunch of stuff that the E-Track can't do. Not a bunch, just a couple things, but... There was no reason to have two E-Tracks, basically, because this is the E-Track plus some. Okay, we're out. And there it is. Some foil. Is it old? New? What is that? Craft. Ketchup. That's newer. Probably one of the farmers had their lunch out here. These guys just eat at our, our diner all the time. There's a lot of modern garbage right in here. Let me do a little walking. We can find some glass. That's iron out here, good sign. See, I'm thinking the house stood right about in where I am. Yeah, look at, see the brick? That's what I'm looking for, guys. This is what this trip is about right here today. Here, like this. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, we're in right here. Okay, we're really slow with the mine lab. Starting to really come down raining. I don't care. It's one heck of a buck trail. Look at that trail he's got pushed through here. Hope I don't mess this guy's deer hunting up for him out here. I doubt it. I'm not gonna. Oh, a nice apple right. Oh, that's walnuts. Those are really big walnuts this year. Look at the size of that thing. And compared to my shovel. I think it's massive. It looks like an apple. And another one. my other screen on I've got it uh, up to the I'm not sure which line that is you guys can see it the blue is all, all this blue area is discriminated out for people who aren't familiar with the CTX I use this quite a bit in the spring this year uh, haunted my um, mother and father-in-law's house which I had, believe it or not, I never really hunted, and uh, I really hunted it good for a couple weeks, and man, I found a lot of silver there, and a bunch of Indian heads, and never filmed any of it, but I gave them everything. Found some nice silverware that had uh, the name of the original owner of the property on it, which was really cool. My mother-in-law was just thrilled by it, and that made me smile all day because she got a kick out of it. They were out there following me around, watching the hole for yeah, out in the middle of the field, damn it. Oh, that's full. Man, that is even some motor oil too. Whole thing of it must have fell off the tractor. Man, I'm going to give that to the farmer.
They probably they would have hit it with a combine. Yeah, coal right there from the house. Well, I can't carry this big thing of oil around with me. Set it here for now. And it's about six inches, 1106. You know, I forgot to at least cancel when I got here, but I really don't need to. There's no EMI. really solid it, uh, on the target trace it's not really filling it out it's not giving me a good picture it's got to be some scrap oh there it is tiny little 22 shell yeah it didn't fill out on the target trace but I mean that's a loud and clear signal six inches it does find a little stuff Almost the same exact reading. Bet you it's probably the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, I bet you. There it is, guys, another one. Remington. Rem. This is another one up over here. 
Ja, då. The numbers are a little bit different. Sorry guys, I notice I've not been keeping my head angle properly. See if I can get these camera angle them up a little. Oh, this one's a piece of lead. It's older. Look at the patina. It's a fire bullet. Really the only modern, well, 22 casings are modern. The only like modern garbage I would say though is that pull tab. Finding bullet casings isn't really like garbage. Now look at that guys, we got a decent See that nice picture being painted? Get some of those water droplets off. It's a 36. Could be an Indian, but more than likely because it's shallow and we'll say shotgun casing. But it could be an Indian. Oh, hang on. There it is, guys. It's right there all along. I'm surprised that didn't give me a little bit longer of an image. It gave me a round image, but it may have been standing straighter when I was, you know, maybe it was standing up like this more when I was over the top, so. That's a Barnes 243 Winchester. It's a big shell, a lot of powder in that thing, boy. 243s. That's a pretty good size shell. Like a 25. Oh, there it is. I saw it. It's a pull tab. The ring, pull ring. The mushrooms those are all over. Somebody might know. 
I wish I knew a little more about mushrooms because they're growing all over this year in this moist, moist kind of warm fall. That's like another 22 casing. Oh, dear. Ooh, what a brick. Piece of a bracket to something. It's not uh it's not steel though. So the pegs might be that are going through it. Almost looks like a link on a chain it could have been, you know? But that would have been all steel. Hey, look at there's a little shelf down here. This would probably be a good spot to check, huh? They had to spend a little bit of time down here. This is such a beautiful spot for a house. I'd love to have one here back off the road. This water does come from a spring spring-fed source, but there's an orchard up top. Oh, look at the old plate. There's an orchard near it, that, a big one, that for years and years stuff has been piling it, dripping into it. Look at that, guys. That's older. For sure. Oh, look at that. Man, too bad it's broke. Brick. Look at this. 
Oh, man. Look at them all. This is all bricks. Look at this whole hillside. Ooh. Now we can find some unbroken stuff. Some threaded stuff, too. You can tell they were here up into the 50s. At least that's what the map shows. I've got two of them, one from 1870 and one from 18, well three actually, one does 1920s I think, and then the one is uh, these have been gone through by somebody. Somebody's over the years had to have found this spot. But there is a chance maybe I can find some unbroken stuff or oh that was something. Or some uh, the, maybe the uh, privy or something that isn't buried. That's an old ketchup bottle I would think. Look at how thick that is. stir it up too much and make a mess and it's about a 12 we're getting over a little not sure what to expect underneath see that anymore. That's definitely old, huh? <laughs> this is very cool. This is cool. Self sealing. Kerr. Self sealing. Trademarked. Wide mouth mason jars. Trademark rags. I can't say as I've heard of Kerr. This one might be worth taking out. I bet you they're all down in the creek too here. We find some unbroken ones down here actually. We're gonna have to metal detect this creek this summer. We're gonna come in here guys and we're gonna bring the AT Pro and the CTX. We're gonna go all up through here. There's gotta be stuff in here. Probably pushed way down too, but this thing gets flooded pretty bad at times. But uh yeah, we'll give it a try. 
figures the dirty spots right where the writing is. It says Kerr. It's got a little chip in it. Not much. A bunch more broken pieces. Like a 36, guys, real steady. So, huh, I wonder what that is, some lead? It's right here on the surface of the zipper. This is all clothing here. If I had a jacket or something. I'll get the zipper part out so I don't have to dig that up again. Well, we gotta dig it up to see what it is. I'm gonna get my shovel. stuff buried in this bank. There it is. It's a can of sardines guys. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody had them some lunch. Mm, nothing like some sardines and some mustard sauce or maybe in some tomato sauce. Mm. Who doesn't love that? Make for a nice smelly lunch. Or they might have been setting traps too. I used to use sardines for bait. Eat a couple, put a couple on the traps for the raccoons. rather big. I 
I gotta get, you know what I'm thinking about getting too? I was thinking about getting waders, but I don't like the chance of waders filling up and me getting sucked down. So I was thinking about getting me an insulated wetsuit. You guys got any recommendations on where to get them or I don't know anything about that. I'm thinking insulated though. Because I'm only going to use it in the cold in the spring and the fall and then in the summer I, I won't wear anything. a minute guys I'm gonna uh, kill the camera a minute kick it back on I got a message that came in all right guys back at it it's two o'clock I got a short amount of time about a half hour or so left I'm gonna walk into this corner a little bit Balance complete.
See, it looks like there's two two items there. One there. Yep. Did you see how we had two items on the screen? One's here and then one's down over here on the handle. So the other one turned out, if you heard, it was not a good signal, really. Good tone, anyways. This should be the good tone. Get out of that way, big rack. Tough working in this corn, especially for me, I'm 6'3". It's not easy to in between these tight little rows. But desperation, <laughs> I mean, a good wait, but when you're talking snow, me never hunting this spot before. You know how it is. got to be big it's not giving me a good image on the screen but it could be beyond the target ID well, usually that target ID goes really deep though there no huh? that's a leaf Definitely have some iron in here. Well, I can't dig any deeper with the corner up. There's some pottery right there. Really solid 12.15. Gold coin, guys. Come on. Now I see some foil or something that looks like sticking through. Right there. A little piece of can shard. I don't even know what a gold coin hits at. I haven't checked one. Don't have one. This is right across from where I was digging over there. I think there's one big old piece of iron.
Hmm. The glasses are fogging up on me, I can't see. Eleven oh eight. Man, really solid too. Just solid red dot on the screen. Hmm, look at it. Small little red dot for, for a big old chunk of wire. That doesn't make sense. Should have given me a long Maybe because it's wired in its individual strands, it might only been picking up like this nut here, or this round part right here. A little quieter down this way. Things like really hypersensitive. I got it set and jack. It'll really go deep. It would be hard to get any more out of it than I'm getting. Sorry guys, if I keep looking up, my glasses are so fogged up, I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm trying to look underneath of them, and then trying to keep you guys tuned in on it. Like I'm looking through thick fog. It's a piece of can, modern stuff. The house is more up that way, but I'm sure over the years the stuff has just dragged all over. Something ironing up over there. It's 
See, like, this is where the mine labs get have trouble. It's telling me. I should have something right here on the edge of this iron, but I'm thinking that it's more than likely. No, it's nothing. Oh, a lot of rocks in this field. Oh, it's just that iron, it's the edge of that iron. If I had the dais or the forest core, I'd know it would separate that or it would show me. It's a little more faster, the reactivity, well, quite a bit. Good sign, I'm seeing more and more pottery out here. I'm hoping the house was a lot further out in the field. Hey, they haven't plowed out here in a while. They do that just planting over the top of it. They must be, have been growing corn for the last few years. They don't even know. Uh, they leave the old corn stalks and everything. Boy, is this ground hard. Twelve forty, solid. Twelve forty, right there, guys. Get the pinpointer out, make sure. up with this. Yeah, it's not real big. It's in this here, guys. Deep. 
And that's an old mass round ball or something. Can't see real good through my foggy lenses, but pretty sure. Let me look underneath. Looks like it's got a patina on it pretty good. It's got to be a... There, get some more of that dirt off. Yeah. It's about this thick. Too small to be a really decent sized round ball. It's definitely a bullet. Well, that was one, two, three, four, about the fourth line on the macro. Do drop it. I think I could put it in my pouch. Must have been a bunch of lead. It isn't a bullet, could be from some windows or something. Well, this is underneath here. What the heck? what's down here it's definitely deeper still really good number but as far as pinpointer Well, we're definitely getting down to it. We can. I see the shiny. Hey, hey, no, guys, look at it. Oh, here I am scratching it. It's got a design on it, man. Looks like it's got a design on it, guys. Sorry about pulling the glasses up. It looks like there's a design on this thing down here. Look at that. Look at that. There's definitely a design on that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Holy smokes, guys. What do we got?
belt buckle. Holy smokes. Is that an eagle? I can't see anything, guys. Damn glasses. Whoa, uh, this looks awesome, man. It's an eagle. Oh my god, guys, what is this? buckle I mean look at it that thing is deep of course it's huge my whole pinpointer deep wow I'm psyched really green on the backside Wow, guys. Any clue what this is? Really appreciate it. I kind of, there's some cannons it looks like or something. I don't know. I scratched it a little for sure. See these marks? I did that, damn it. That happens. That's what happens when you dig a whole bunch of junk and then you aren't paying, being careful. Yeah, this look at this cleans out. <laughs> All right, guys, awesome. Hey, I'm going to shut the camera off now and take some pictures of my camera and stuff, so all right, cool guys. I'm glad you were there to see me dig that. Niagara County, signing out.